This is primarily just to satisfy my own personal curiosity. So I have this HP laptop a customer brought in that has Intel Iris Z or whatever graphics. And I wanted to see how Premiere 2024 would run with it. Um, it if I would just not close the thing, um, I could show you. It has a Core i7-1255U. This is about, with no discounts, this is about an $800 laptop. It's on sale for $630 right now. Comment, subscribe, blah, 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 blah. Take care. For the proxy, for the proxy workflow, it will probably be okay. See all that. Here, it's going to do an right, alpha blend friends, right here. It's time for another rolling ramble. Two 4K 60 time, clips alpha blended. All, and it's only a little choppy. You, a, uh, well, first of all, this is not the same. Yeah, so it actually does a pretty respectable job. Um, just to show you what I have going on here, since you might be curious, um, the effect stack it's rendering in real time, in fact, is we've got a Lumetri color here that's doing various corrections. Um, further down, I don't think I did an HSL secondary on that video, but it's also in real time, oh, I turned that off, but it was okay with it on. Um, it's got a graphic EQ, and it's got a tube model compressor. So it's basically rendering a Lumetri color and two audio effects in real time with no problem on 4K 60 footage. This would be a perfectly acceptable machine for editing 4K 30 and below. Um, on the go, 4K 60, it's it's okay. It would probably be a lot better with a proxy workflow, but yeah, is so you can actually use, and this is the ultimate question I had, Iris Z graphics can be used to edit in Premiere Pro, um, even though you would think, into, oh, Intel graphics can't be powerful enough. Clearly, it's powerful enough to at least do some of it. Now, if it was a massively effects-heavy thing, maybe not, but... This thing is surprisingly versatile. Anyway, thought I'd share my findings. Take care.